Well, hello, my name is Shanice M. Wise, and I am your personal business development coach, founder of the Unstoppable uh, Community, author, executive trainer, motivational speaker, and all that great stuff. Well, today I am uh, speaking with you about uh, in regards to my series, How to Close the Sale, and today is part three. And make sure that you subscribe to my page, make sure you subscribe, so every time I add a new video, it will uh, post and you will get a notification. So make sure that you definitely, definitely, definitely subscribe. All right, good to go? Well, today we're gonna talk about the front-end sale versus the back-end sale, okay? So I have my notes, I wanna stay on topic. There we go. And I wanna make sure that you can see me, yay. All right, all right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So what is the difference between the front end sale versus the back end sale? I'm so happy you asked. Well, today I'm gonna to talk to you about why it's important to understand uh, the difference. So again, I work with my clients in my coaching program on how to put both in place in order to grow and develop your income. So let's dive in. So why does leaving money on, what does leaving money on the table really mean? Okay, so the definition is missing the opportunity to get money, not taking money that is available. So when you leave money on the table, and what I mean is you don't understand all your areas, all your avenues of income. It means that you are missing out on additional income that could be in your pocket, okay? Leaving money on the table is an idiom, idiom, which means not getting as much money as you could, okay? So when you are in business, you want to make money, right? At the end of the day, that is how your business is going to survive. So, but you know, whether you realize it or not, you're probably leaving money on the table every single day your business operates. So to counter that, here are some few things that you can do to maximize the amount you sell to each of your customers or your clients. So let's start with front-end sales. When you sell a product, a front-end sale is the first product you sell. Okay, so in other words, it's the first product that your customer buys. Usually the first product you sell is the product with the lowest price. It's like your introductory offer. It's like, you know, the beginning, you getting yourself out there. New customers will often start out small to see if you are really trustworthy of them purchasing larger packages from you, okay? So let me give you an example. Um, some of my new customers will purchase my book first, will purchase my CD to kind of get a feel for who I am, how I operate, how I teach, how I coach. And then as soon as they feel like, okay, she makes sense, she knows what she's doing, so let me go to another package. So they may buy and invest in my group coaching program, okay? Or I have people who once they listen, once they read, once they join our community, they're like, I want her as my coach. I see what she's doing. I hear the testimonies and I'm gonna purchase the one-on-one um, -on -one, uh, program. So it just depends on the customer. But normally, new customers will often start out um, at a smaller level to determine if you really know what you're talking about, if you really are the expert that you claim to be. So the front end of your sales funnel is where you win your new customer. So let's talk about that. It's when you become a magnet to your new customers. It's when you connect. It's where your relationship evolves, okay? And I see so many entrepreneurs out there, I say this all the time, they jump out there and they have no idea how to develop the infrastructure of their company. And when I say infrastructure, I mean the insight, their selling strategies, understanding them, their branding, their marketing. You know, so this is very, very important. Understanding the difference between this, it is priceless. So the front end sale is where you win your new customers. It's the sale that will put your customer into your sales funnel, okay? So remember I talked about the book, the CD, and then what's next? Therefore, your front end is all the marketing tactics, campaigns, strategies, um, systems you under, undertake to acquire new leads that will eventually lead into new customers. So the costs related to your front end are all the marketing expenses you spend to attract and drive people to your front end offer. Okay, so let me give you an example. My workshops, you know, my book. You know, those are the different things that I promote to create brand awareness so you know who I am. Who is Shanice and Wise? Who is the unstoppable community? What do they represent? 
Okay, so this is how, you know, I get myself out there so people know that I'm out there to teach you how to develop your business and how to take your business to the next level. So the costs related to your front end, again, are all your marketing expenses, your videos, your flyers, all those different things to drive people to be connected to you. You want people to look for you. You want people to be attracted to you. You want your brand to be like a word of mouth where one person is like, oh my goodness, I tried, you know, I went to this event and it was so beautifully decorated. Oh, I need to know who's the person who who, who did this event. Oh my gosh, so-and-so did this event. I need her name and number. So now this person is coming after you because you've done the marketing, you put your designs out there, you, you did everything up front, right? To start attracting people at the event to potentially become your clients. So the back end of your sales funnel is where you convert one-time customers into returning customers. Get them on that wheel. That's what you want to do. You want to get them on that wheel. And I love this because this is what I train and I teach when I work with my clients, how to develop other branches, right? If you know me, I look at your gift. I always teach from your gift, okay? Um, your gift is like a tree, a tree. So look at my hands, this is like your tree. And then you have all these branches that come out of your tree, okay? Think about that. So all these branches are different areas for you to earn income, and they're on your sales funnel for you to take your customer here. Boom, what's next? You take her there. Boom, what's next? You take them there. Boom, what's next? So keeping them on that wheel, okay? And this makes returning customers, returning income, and you're really able to service your clients to help take them to the next level. So it's where your customers start making you profit. So once a customer enters your sales funnel, you will offer him or her more and more and more and more throughout the life of being your customer. Your goal is to increase the value of each of your customers in order to increase your overall sales. It's like a ladder. Okay, the book, the CD, the coaching program, maybe the group, the individual, the yearly program, like constantly taking them to the next level. And in order to do this, though, they have to see results. OK, this is how you don't leave money on the table. And this really makes me excited because when I when I do this, when I implement this, I literally watch my customers grow. I mean, I look at some of my customers now who are out there, uh, my clients, I would say, my business partners who are out there and they're doing some amazing things. And those are the clients that were with me nine months, 11, 12, and they're out there six feet. Six figure incomes, five, you know, five figure monthly incomes. Okay. So you have to make sure that if you put your customer on that wheel, that what you're doing and what you're saying is effective. Okay. So let me give you another example. Okay. Your customer brought your book, you offer a workbook, audio file, online courses, and videos to capture them. Okay. So remember that those are the front end. And once you capture them, here's another example. You put them on that wheel and you start offering, you know, maybe you offered in the beginning a quick webinar. Now you offer, they're on the wheel, an uh, online course, okay? Or for an example, let me see, what's another area? Um, maybe you're a baker and you give a sample of your product. That's your front end sale. Or you do a little trial package for like $5. Once they bite, once they love that, then you sit down and do a consultation and you show them and share with them what else you can offer them. You can do catering for them. You know, you can, you deliver meals. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you wanna build your back end sale. So remember, the front end, it attracts your, your, your potential customers. It helps you get new leads. That's where your marketing expenses are. And your back end is your funnel. It's where you keep your clients, how they return, and you offer different areas for you to make money. So you're closing the sale. Remember, the topic is how to close a sale. Well, you close the sale, number one, by making sure that what you offer is solid, okay? 
what is solid you are when you say you're an expert you're truly an expert you know people believe in you you come through you're accountable in your services and your products you show up your products show up your services show up people are giving you testimonials okay so how to close the sale involves all of that and then having the right communication at the end so once you get your customer and i'll get continue to use me as an and as, a, as an example once they purchase the book Okay, then they can go to my website. We set up a discovery session and then I talk about everything else. So it's all also effective communication. That's what I teach my clients as well. Okay, so again, this is session three on how to close a sale. And our topic today is what's the difference between the front end sale versus the back end sale. So I, I hope that this has been a benefit to you and you're ready to get out there and stop leaving money on the table. You're able to effectively close the sale and do exactly what you need to do in order to grow your business, to grow your empire and to grow you and to grow you. So remember, my name is Shanice M. Wise. I am a personal and business development coach. You can find my website, www.shanicemwise.com. You can also find my community of business-minded entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs, and professionals. You can find us on Facebook. Just type in Unstoppable Community and put at the end of it, T as in Tom, N as in Nancy, which stands for trade name. So Unstoppable Community, T-N. Search for us. You can follow me on um, Instagram, unstoppable, spell out one, O-N-E, and then the number one. You can also find me on Twitter, Shanice and Wise, my Facebook business page, Shanice and Wise, and you can find me on LinkedIn, Shanice and Wise. So have an amazing day and remember, stop leaving money on the table. Effectively communicate so you can successfully close the sale. Have a great day.